Sports Tonight is back again. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. It's good to have you joining us to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonakwa. On the show tonight, we'll continue our countdown to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Already, is Team Nigeria. We'll hear from uh, some um, officials of different federations talking about ways that the country can do well at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. That one should get us talking on the show tonight. The Nigeria Wrestling Federation, they have concluded their board meeting and they've come out with a communique. All is geared towards developing wrestling in Nigeria and ensuring that the country has a good representation at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. I'll tell you the story of that one tonight on the program. We are now in the semi-final stage at the maiden edition of the Para Table Tennis Open taking place right here in Lagos. Nigeria looking for a place in the final in the class 9 and 10. Algeria still pushing. Cote d'Ivoire still pushing. We love that one because it gives us an opportunity to feel the power of sports. Special athletes doing their thing right there at the Teslim Balogun Stadium. We were with them today. We'll bring you all of the updates on the show tonight. Mikel Ateta finally has been unveiled as the new manager of Arsenal Football Club. And look, Gunners fans, come, let's talk. He has not played one match, and some persons are saying, Ateta out. Gunners fans, what do you want? What's going on? They're saying, Mikel Ateta out. They're holding up banners. Social media, Ateta out is trending. Let him play his first match. Come on, guys. We'll talk about that one on the show tonight. Arsenal fans, let's talk. Can Mikel Ateta turn around all of these issues going on with Arsenal? That should get us talking when we get uh, to uh, that discussion. Of course, we'll take a look at match day 18 of the English Premier League. I'm back home in Nigeria. It's match day 10 of the Nigeria Professional Football League. Can play two United, keep the fire burning. Can Dakada FC stun Aqua United? Remember, that's their senior brother that, they'll, that we'll be taking, uh, taking on on Sunday in Uyo. Dakada FC, they have been so impressive after nine matches. Can they keep it going? against Aqua United. We will talk about that one when we get to the Nigeria Professional Football League match day 10 fixtures. Wherever you are in the world, welcome on board. It's post tonight on your award-winning, sports-loving channels, television. Be part of the program. You can talk to us on Twitter. Our channels underscore sports. It's a verified Twitter handle. We'll talk about everything going down in our world of sports. So you can be part of the show tonight on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook, channels I think sports. You can send us an email, sports tonight at channelstv.com. All our top stories can be viewed on our website, channelstv.com, and on YouTube for slash channels web. If you log on to m.channelstv.com, you should be able to download the Channels TV app for any of those devices that you see right there on your screen. What are you talking about, Arsenal fans? I said, let's do this show together. Mikel Ateta has been unveiled as the new coach of the Gunners. Are you guys comfortable with, with that decision by the board? Mikel Ateta? Mikel Ateta is just 37. Uh, quit playing for Arsenal about three, four seasons ago. Assistant coach at Manchester City and now is going to be leading the Gunners. Some fans aren't just comfortable with that, and that's why they went to social media to say, Ateta out. Now, 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 now. We didn't know what we were doing with it. But you, you never know. Ateta might just turn things around at us now. By the way, he has insist, he insists that he is ready and has called for a new energy. You see, Ateta does not want all of those negative vibes that you fans are giving. No negative vibes. He says, He's ready, he wants new energy, he's confident that he can turn things around for the Ghana. So that's what it is. Mikel Ateta is the new man uh, for the job right there at the Emirates Stadium. So uh, let's see uh, what he can do when uh, it's showtime. Arsenal fans, let's talk about that. So just use the hashtag Ateta. Uh, let's talk about Mikel Ateta being unveiled as a new manager of Arsenal. I want you to be part of the discussion. Do you love the Nigeria Professional Football League? Use the hashtag MPFL. March day 18 of the EPL will get our attention also. Hashtag EPL. So much is going down in our world of sports. We'll continue our countdown to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Hashtag Olympics. I want you to tell me, with everything that you've seen, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, uh, they got things underway when they inaugurated the ministerial 
Nigeria Olympics Committee, that committee charged with the supervision and monitoring of all of Nigeria's preparations for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, they signed a memorandum of understanding with the, the, the Tokyo 2020 organizers, signed another memorandum of understanding with the NESG about two days ago. They launched the Adopt an Athlete campaign last week, I mean this week, in Lagos. They're busy. They said, look, they want to do things differently. But I know some of you, you've been following uh, for as long as we can remember. Even some persons can remember how we did so well uh, at Barcelona 92. And then since then, okay, put Atlanta 96. Atlanta 96 was for you know, right after that one. It's been here and there, here and there. What can we do? to make sure that we don't just go to Tokyo and add to the numbers. Say, I want you guys to be part of nation building. So I'm going to collate all of that and we'll send it to the ministry. Say, look at what Nigerians are saying. We must do this, we must do that. Athletes welfare must be top notch. Infrastructure must be top notch. It's just 216 more days to go. So let's bring all of that discussion together and then send it to the ministry so that they will know that we mean business. 216 more days to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Is Nigeria ready to go out there and compete? Not just compete, compete for medals. Wrestling, they're confident that they can win a medal. Badminton, they believe that we have players that can qualify and, and represent the country in Tokyo. A basketball, we're hopeful that the D Tigress can qualify. Uh, what can give us medals again? Um, weightlifting, they are doing their bit to make sure that we, we, we give a representation at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Put all of this together and be part of this discussion on Twitter. Channels underscore sports, Facebook, channels I think sports. Alfred Okoli will with us the Friday night. Alfred makes a return on the show. Alfred, it's good to have you on sports tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> uh, let, let, me, let me pick you on this. 216 more days to go to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. I asked the minister this question. Let me ask you for Nigeria, is it another race against time? Definitely it is. Ooh. Definitely it is. Uh, the way it is, um, I, I mean, the ministry have had very rough patch in, in, in time past. Um, a lot of movement, but in terms of activities, what has it? what is it that we're doing to ensure that we don't find ourselves where we found ourselves presently? Um, thank God that the minister, the new minister came in and he's come up with initiative. This adopt a talent, Mm. Uh, adopt an athlete yep. um, initiative is something that should be commended. It's something mm. that, yes, it might it might be late in the day, but I think now that it has started, it's something that can really propel us to where we really desire, you know, to be. And it's giving the athlete a sense of belonging because um, somebody gets picked. He gets. We know the amount that he, that athlete is going to get in terms of preparation, in terms of taking care of um, the bills that need to be paid, and and so. Um, we, we expect the best from them. However, um, this is an Olympics that will go um, not looking at, you know, sometimes, you know, when football is part of it, you say, okay, mm. whatever happens, um, we'll look at that as, you know, something that when we play, we'll judge where we belong. It's something that will have, start a very good chance of competing with the best in the world. But this time around, it's not going. So it is um, the guys that show up, that whatever they can put in is what, what we'll get. Um, I I would have thought these things that are happening now would have been would have happened back in the days so that um, we'll get the best out of them. But yeah. you never can tell. I know. You never cause... can tell. Things can look at the world championship. Yeah. Things happen. Toby Lola, she had, had a good start in the in the uh, 100 meters hurdles. Yeah. She would have ended so she finished close. Close, very yeah. close. AC Brume. Brume. Yeah. That close. So, Not a medal. Yeah. So if you can win bronze at the World Championships, you've competed with the best of the best mm. at that level. So mm. we need to fine-tune. And this is about the Olympics. Is mm. You have to be strategic in your preparation. You see? It's not a question of now that if these athletes are picked up, uh, perhaps some of them, the medal hopefuls, are picked up in terms of um, uh, sponsorship and the rest of them. Mm. Now they can pick and choose yeah. the races that they want to run. I've been looking for you, <laughs> Alfred. <laughs> Minister first entered eight or nine. Mm. We struggled to mention six mm. sports. Yeah. Now he said they've agreed it's 11. 11, no football. Okay. 
So let's say the day tigress qualify. By the way, if they do, it will be the first time we're having our male and female female team, basketball both of teams. Them, they, and, and it will be beautiful. They can take the place of football. So take the place of. we put basketball. Yeah. You know, we struggled. Because I, I was when they were saying it that they adopt an athlete's mm -hmm. campaign, um, I was thinking 11. I had a struggle with six. So basketball, wrestling, table tennis, Taekwondo. Taekwondo. If badminton qualifies, Dokas Ade Shokon, Anu Okpeyori, and Godwin Olofua, they are looking for qualification. So if you add badminton, that's five. If weightlifting put their house in order. If we get it right there. If we get it right with weightlifting, we can add weightlifting. That's six. Help me. And where we can put Kenwin and Rowan. They haven't been so quiet too. Mm. And Ayomide Bello mm. has qualified for the Olympics. So let's put Rowan seven. If they we say eleven. If we get our qualification right, boxing. Boxing. Boxing on the continent, we can Alfred. get we can get people to the Olympics. <sighs> if we get the preparation right, if we get the camping right, we can get people to the Olympics. Alfred, tell me. When last did you hear of a boxing competition in this country? That's, uh, there lies the problem. Oh, there no. lies the problem. What, what I, what I, when I say, um, if we get the camping right, um, it is poor that um, there's no way you will um, put a program on ground now. Because first, the qualification, there has to be the African Championships. That is the first one. Because that is where we usually run into problems. The last time out, it we, was in Cameroon. And then, we uh, only uh, how many qualified? Uh, 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 only one. Jagba. If you are Jagba. We, Thank you. We struggle to get people to... to, to, to I'm afraid. Just listen to this very ugly story we've just said about boxing. And some persons came back. No. We, are, we, will go to Rio, we will go to Tokyo and defeat the world. Uh, the, the, the Why are we that, playing? The, no, the thing is that you sometimes when you look at the, the sport in Nigeria, those, um, the federations themselves, uh, they expect that, okay, the ministry will release funds. Oh, uh, that's no. why it, most of the, the, the problem oh, lies oh, with no. the leadership of this federation. What are we doing? Very are we sad. in the sport? Are we in the sport Very to okay, wait for? The ministry to uh, so which programs sad. are we putting? None. On, None. It, it becomes difficult. Alfred, and, well, and the guys, because because we don't have competitions. Yeah. We have a lot of young good boxers going professional when they are not supposed to be going to well, going professional because. I mean, at that mature level, it's almost like nothing is happening. You wait for a national sports nothing. festival. You wait for a national Alfred. sports festival for you to have one meaningful company. How can happens. a federation perform so woeful at the Rio 2016 Olympics and come back and fold their hands? And I keep saying it on this show. If you have no passion, if you have no business in leading a federation, we, we are, we're not going to call police for you. Just pack your bags. Just go. Leave the... Because... At the end, everybody comes down and they want to blame one boxer that will, that will just use God-given talent and qualify. Or we will blame ministry. Meanwhile, the federation is doing nothing. And the, box, the boxer you didn't provide for, we were looking for a um, sparring partner for Ifa Jagba. We didn't. To the no, Olympic. No, we, we, no. we didn't provide for, you didn't give the support that we to be given. We are still joking. That's the story of boxing. Before independence, Nigeria was producing world champions in boxing. We were that dominant. And now, look at the story we're saying, we saying about boxing. We have wrestling, and wrestling is doing so well in the country. We're hopeful that we're doing the Korea, Minata, Deni, Blessing, Oboro, Zuzu, Amaz, Daniel, and all of the wrestlers that represent this country uh, can go to the, the Olympics. The coach, Purutiako. Purutiako, also doing a great job. In fact, the, the entire federation the entire led federation. by Daniel Igali Fantastic doing job. so well. Fantastic job. They had their board family. meeting and they came out with this communique. The board expressed satisfaction with the, the performances in 2019. It's beautiful. They won a total of 33 medals, 16 gold, 8 silver, 9 bronze at international levels. That's how to be busy. The board agrees Blessing Oyebuchi should move to Yenagua to train on their capable hands in preparation for the upcoming Olympic qualifiers. Mm. You see, they know what they're saying because they have proper infrastructure in Yenagua. The Bayosa State Capital say, Blessing Oyebuchi, you're doing so well. We've seen that you've got, the, you've got all of the potentials to qualify. 
come to Yenagua and start getting ready. The board expresses dismay over the flagrant violation of anti-doping rules by athletes and agreed to impose strict liability, particularly on coaches. I like this, Afro. We'll come back and talk about it. The board notes that uh, Allogen Security had adopted a decroye or doan your for uh 57 kg for sponsorship. Fantastic. Fantastic. The board also agreed uh, to organize Daniel Igali Junior and Cadet National Championship in Yenagoa, Bayelsa State, and Southern Ijo, a local government area national wrestling championships in 2020 competitions. Keep them busy. Keep them busy. That's the process uh, to discover young talents. Board approves that henceforth no coach would play dual roles as referee and coach. A one line system should be adopted and maintained. The board also notes that the United World Wrestling, UWW, at Given the Federation a grant of $60,000 to purchase the generator, bus, treadmill, and other equipment. This is what we're talking about. And you see, everything rises and falls on leadership. And it is rubbing off. In the last seven years, I've read, hasn't wrestling been shining? Uh, no, they, they, when, uh -huh. it comes to, when it comes to um, the Federation, wrestling is one that have taken their game to another level. And the, the results are there for you to, to show. See where grants coming. The international body knows that these guys, where mm -hmm. they are coming from, they would have asked them, hey, what do, how do we support the progress that you guys have made so far? Yeah. And hey, the grants come and they use it to, you know, use it to take care of uh, the needs in the, in the, in the Federation. And, and that's what we're talking about because where you don't give good representation out there, it somehow... Um, it, it, you don't get anything. And, I mean, for federations, that it's not every day you want to organize a grand national. You can do the regionals. You can do states. You can do even look look for the, look, the minute ones. Get something on ground. You're not, of course, you just uh, called out um, the boxing federation. Yeah. To ask what is it that they've been doing. Yeah. Don't we have boxers again in yeah. this country? Don't we? At that level, yeah. how, how are we developing Talent. this sport? I mean, I mean boxing Talent. is one sport that we've that have really saved us in time past. As a child, I walk to Kirikiri, I climb a tree to watch boxing. Now we are struggling to have one competition in Nigeria in boxing. So well done to the Nigeria Wrestling Federation. Mm. Um, Ada Adopt an Athlete campaign, it was easy for Ade Kroye to be adopted. Mm. The records are there. She's a shining example. You know, so Ade Kroye said, we struggled in 2016 because of poor funding. And so she says, now that there's funding, she's hopeful that we can do better at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Let's go on this quick break. When we come back, we'll listen to Oduanyo Adekroye. We'll listen to Enofio Kudobong. All of them, they're talking about this Olympics. It's serious business. We're not playing with it. And that's why I'll say it again. If you don't have business leading a federation, sporting federation in Nigeria, back off. Let's go on this quick break. When we come back, we'll talk some more. Don't go anywhere. Stay.